morning, my babies. Look at the mess you make. You move your litter box, you poop everywhere. What am I gonna do with you? I gotta scoop that later. After work. After work, I will do that. But we'll pick up what's out here. Are you... What are you doing? What are you doing? You make messes. You guys are messy bunch. You know that? Huh? You know you're messy, don't you? You know you are. You know you are. <laughs> yeah? No denials. You're just like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, did you see the camera? Yeah. So what do you guys think? Huh? What do you guys think? Is it the camera? You're going to check it out? Huh? <laughs> you guys are so sweet. I love you guys. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We got happy bunnies now. There's hay. All right, mama's got to go to work. Yep, not a long day. It's only three hours. It's kind of pointless, really. And then I got the rest of the day I'm going to donate after. And, uh, yeah, and then we can hang out together, can't we? Look at you guys don't even care. You got hay all over you. Hay all over. All right. Off I go. I just want to sit here and watch you, though. Hey, guys. So, oh, my gosh. You know, after recording the bunnies this morning, and then, you know, you know, in that clip, I was like, just three hours, no big deal. <sighs> that was the longest three hours of my life, you guys. It didn't, like, the other day when I worked four hours, it went faster than this three hours. It really did. Today, it just seemed, the time just seemed to stand still. We were busy. Um, so normally, busy means time goes faster. Mm -mm, it didn't, because you know why? My anxiety, my anxiety was so high that I could no longer focus. And I would make a stupid mistake. And then because I would make that mistake, I would get all up inside my head, not meaning to, but getting all up inside my head and the anxiety keeps climbing. I had to go into the office and just breathe. And my boss actually sent me outside and to walk around the building. And she was like, you'll be fine. But I, I swear you guys, is there not a job that my anxiety is not going to kill me over? I mean, I left a really busy, crazy place because it was messing with me. This place isn't as busy. But there are other issues there. And it's messing with me. And I'm like... <sighs> I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm just, I'm ranting right now because there's not really anybody else I can rant to at this point. My husband's not home, so, and I'm not going to put that on my kid. My kid is here. I'm not going to put that on him, but I just needed to be able to, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I need... <laughs> I need to be able to work. I have to work, but I have to function. And I can't function when my anxiety goes up like that because I can't focus. I can't focus. I don't know, you guys. If YouTube could make me money, I mean, I'm not anywhere close to being at that spot. Or find something that will make me money that won't make my anxiety just go up here. And this job shouldn't be doing this to me. It's not. Like, it shouldn't. It's not that busy. 
There are other issues. We are so short staffed, it's ridiculous. Right now, the manager is there alone. Alone meaning she has to take the orders, she has to cook the orders, she has to come back out and bag the orders. And if there are, if she, if there's a person calling, a person coming in to order, she's got to bag an order, she's got to cook. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? But it's because we don't have anybody else. We don't have anybody else. And at the end of the week, we're losing a different person. So I just, you know, if I needed to quit right now, how would I even do that? They, would, they wouldn't be able to function as a business if yet another person left. But I, you know, I really feel, and I'm not the kind of person that job hops. I, I stay with a job. I stay with a job, you know. But lately I feel like I'm job hopping because since last year, like a year ago in the summer, I got the McDonald's job. It's just supposed to be supplemental. Um, but it's supplemental to the point of I need to work full time in it because we have that massive medical bill that we got to pay off and we've got to catch up. And without my income, it just doesn't work. Um, but I couldn't do McDonald's. It was tearing me up. Um, so I left McDonald's and I went to a hotel and I was housekeeping and that about killed me physically. So I went back to McDonald's. They took me back in a heartbeat and I apologized to the hotel because I really, I only lasted there a week. Um, and now I've left McDonald's again and I'm at this place and it's been almost two months and I'm losing my mind already. And it's not because of the busyness. It's not because uh, it's the fact that they're so short staffed that all of a sudden you practically need to be available at the drop of the hat. You can't plan a dang thing. I mean, I've got an appointment today for plasma. Yeah, I could cancel that. But why should I have to? If I canceled it today to stay there longer today, I wouldn't be able to schedule it again because I still already have other days I have to work. And what else is that going to mess with? What's going to happen that day where I'm going to have to stay longer or they're going to have to change my hours? I can't plan a thing. I can't plan a thing. And that is messing with my anxiety. And I don't know what happened to, to set it off with me today. But once it started going up, a mistake happened and then it flew. And if I didn't have, if I wasn't diagnosed with anxiety, if I didn't have anxiety, I could have handled that fine. I could have handled it fine. But I, I end up getting inside my head and I can't get out of it. I don't know what to do, you guys. I really don't know what to do. So that's my rant for now. I am going to go in the house. I'm going to look at my bunnies, <laughs> snuggle my dog, eat something, and head off to plasma. And just try and forget the rest of the, if, you know, just forget this part of the day and move on so my entire day isn't ruined. <sighs> anxiety, depression and anxiety, because I have both really sucks you guys if you struggle with it let me know so that I know that I'm not just talking to people who have no idea who or no idea how this feels um, because really there are, it's hard to talk to people about how you feel if they have no clue if they don't start if they don't struggle with it they have no clue um, and I don't know who, whoever's watching. I don't know where you fall in that category. If you are like, wow, that girl is just a crybaby and a whiny butt and whatever, and is just lazy. No, that's not it at all. Um, I, I don't, I, it's hard for a person with depression and anxiety to explain exactly how they're feeling. And if you struggle with it like I do, you know exactly how I feel. 
and there there's anxiety and just trying to figure out what I can do besides medication which job can I do that I'm qualified for that it's not going to make me feel like I'm losing my crap I, I don't even know I don't even know so anyway I'm going to end this here because I'm just babbling and uh, I'm going to go in and snuggle my, my animals and eat something so that I can head off to plasma. Thanks for listening guys. Um, if you haven't, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, I might have scared you off from subscribing. Um, but I would love it if you would, uh, like the video, share it, whatever you want to do. Um, look at my other ones. I've got plenty of videos up. I just don't have this. I'm just struggle with subscribers. So, um, yeah, that's about all. Hope everybody has a better day than I'm having and I will talk with you later. There's my babies. There's my baby. Hi, Bella. You gotta make me feel better today. Mommy had a bad three hours. So the worst three hours of I've never had such a bad day in three hours. Hi, my love. Yes, hi. Oh, and my bunnies don't even care. They're it's Hera's first birthday tomorrow. Yep. Your first birthday tomorrow. You're gonna be a year old. She's like, yeah, whatever. Milo, you're not even paying attention to me. Oh, back to you. Back to you who's paying. I gotta vacuum this floor. Oh, there's my baby. All right. I am gonna go and love on my Bella. Yes, I am, because it's gonna make me feel better. All right. <laughs>